Corrective action to take for varying part lengths or slippage errors on the gripper. Do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's main electrical panel. Push in on the yellow slide lever on the machine's main air pressure regulator and do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the regulator. Remove the upper and lower plugs on the input coupling access holes. Remove the guard covering the output coupling. You can move the gripper by hand to position the set screws for the input coupler to be visible through the upper and lower access holes. Using a torque wrench and a hex key, torque the set screws on the input coupling to the measurement shown on the screen for the upper and lower set screws. Now move the gripper by hand until the set screws on the output side coupling are visible so you will be able to torque them to the measurement shown on the screen in two places. Once this is done, you will need to check the teeth on the dry belt pulley on both ends to ensure the teeth are not worn down. The teeth should have almost a 90 degree corner on them to hold the belt in place. No smooth edges off the top flat of the tooth. Here is an example of a worn out pulley. Loosen the four bolts on the gripper drive assembly. Loosen the belt enough to be able to see if the edges on the teeth have worn down enough to allow the belt to slip a tooth during operation, which will cause a board length problem or the slippage error. If they show signs of wear, it is time to replace them. Inspect the rest of the drive system by backing off the set screws holding the drive end and idler end shafts to the outside bearing. And then remove the outside plate holding the bearing. Slide the guide spacers and drive end and idler end pulleys over to inspect the keyway on the pulleys, guide spacers, and shaft, along with a key for damage, such as rolled edges. Any damaged parts need to be replaced. If there's no damage visible, reassemble both ends of the pulley assemblies. Bolt the outside plate with the bearings back on and tighten the set screws from the bearings to the shafts. Retension the drive belt and tighten the four bolts holding the gripper drive assembly. Replace the guard on the output coupling and replace the upper and lower plugs on the input coupling access holes. Reverse the lockout tagout procedures.